Hi there. Uh, take me out to the ball game. This is part two. These are the chords uh, that you'll need to play this in C uh, in the first position. You can play it all different ways, but this is a, one way to do it in the first position. So here we go. First is a C. Uh, that is third finger and third fret, second finger and second fret of the D string, open G string, and first finger on the first fret of the D string, of course. Take me out to the, and now your G. That is third finger, uh, third fret, second finger, second fret, pinky finger on the third fret. Ball game. Now C. Take me out to the, again, the G crowd. Now A, uh, second, first, second, and third fingers on the second fret, so the D string, the G string and the B string, respectively. So, buy me some peanuts. And now D minor. So since it's a D, we're going to play the open D string. We have a second finger on the second fret of the G string. Third finger on the third fret of the B string, first finger on the first fret of the uh, of the E string. That's that's actually the, the third right there, the flat and third. So, uh, oh, that will be uh, buy some peanuts and cracker jacks. And now to a regular D. I don't care. That's a little triangle shape. If I back to a G, never get back, cause it's back to a C. Root root for the whole team. If back to a C, they don't now C7, which is like a C, except I've got a free pinky finger here. I'm going to put that on the third fret of my G string. When it's uh, and then back to a shame, uh, back to a uh, F. Sorry, F for the word shame. Shame for it's one. Now E flat diminished is kind of interesting. So my E flat, I'm going to play these. Uh, I'm going to leave off my E string and my A string. I'm going to put my first finger on the first fret of the, the D string, second finger on the first fret of, of the B string, third finger on the second fret of the G string, and pinky finger on the second fret of the E string. And it sounds like this. Isn't that pretty? That's what's called the symmetrical chord. So again, it's F, E flat diminished to a C, right? Three strikes you're out at out A7. A7, of course, like an A except with um, with a open uh, playing your open G string. So first finger on the second fret of the of the D string, second finger on the second fret of the B string. At the D7, D7, which is like a D only with the um, first finger on the first fret of the B string second finger on the second fret of the G string and third finger on the second fret of the E string. D7, uh, G to the ball, right? And then back to the C. This is in the key of C, so it begins and ends on a C. Generally, when you're determining what the key is, if the last note is what your last chord is really uh, the thing that will help you decide what key it is, this happens to be the C. So again, I'll say the chords as they change them from the first chord, which is the C. Me out to the G. Game C D out with the G to an A. A me some peanuts and D minor jacks to a D. I don't care if I back to a G. Never get back, cause it's C root for the G T if C don't C7. F for its F in that diminished C strikes your out A7 at the old ball back to a C and the G can be a turnaround and so for uh, all, so all told it'll sound like this a little bit faster in just the chords one two one two three four
tracks around. 